We're going to upgrade Virtual Smart Zone Data Plane via the CLI from version 5.0 to version 5.1. In the description box below, we've included information and links to resources that can assist you. Additionally, please be sure to check out the Ruckus How-To Hub. There you will find great information including KB articles, documents, and videos on all of your favorite Ruckus products. We're always adding new content, so check back often. Now, let's dig in. Okay, we're logged into our VDP appliance, so we're going to run a show version, and this is just to verify that the VDP version currently running is 5.0. Next, we're going to execute the upgrade FTP command, and because I've had to blur this for security purposes, I'm going to go ahead and put an example of the command up on the screen here. So as you can see, it's upgrade FTP, the IP address of your FTP server, and then the directory where you've stored the X image file for the VDP version. In this case, it's VDP-5.1. Then it's the username and password for your FTP server. When you execute this command, you're going to see this screen for roughly about 10, 20 minutes, depending on your environment. And then you'll get a system reboot request pop up. This is where you need to go ahead and say, yes, we're going to start the upgrade. The reason this takes so long is because it has to FTP that image from your FTP server to the controller, but it doesn't show you any progress of it. So don't panic, know that it's moving. You just have to be a little patient. About another 10, 15 minutes elapses, and then it's gonna tell us that the download is completed. So it's gonna go ahead and start the reboot. Once it does that, now we're gonna start a continuous ping. This will just help us understand and monitor when that upgrade is fully completed, and then we'll be able to log back in and verify it. As you can see, the pings have returned. So we're gonna go ahead and SSH back into the controller. We're gonna log in, enable, use our enable password. And we're gonna type a show version just to ensure that the correct version is running. As we see here, it's now running version 5.1. It's great, so that's it. That's how you upgrade your VDP controller via the CLI. Before you leave, don't forget to check the description box below. There you're gonna find great resources and information on this topic, and also within the How-To Hub, you're gonna find great information and resources on many more. Thanks for watching.